Hi everyone, Nancy here for Button Farm Club and today I'm with you presenting another album for Button Farm Club with beautiful Stamperia music paper. Just absolutely adore this paper and there's something about Stamperia, I don't know, it just really um, makes me want to do things with it, make things with it because it's just so vintagey and gorgeous. So here is the cover, and on the cover, uh, first of all, it's this beautiful violin, and I have had Gypsy Soul laser cuts pre-cut two chipboard pieces that exactly match the shape of the violins that are in the Stamperia music paper. So you get a nice, hard um, background for the fussy cutting of the violin. I've also on the cover added a handle, because I love handles, and a metal embellishment, a flourish, and some uh, beautiful flowers that will be in your kit. Now what I've done with those flowers is, um, for lack of a better word, dye or color them a little bit with chalks, and I'll show you that a little bit later. But as you can see, this is all a very um, oh my gosh I just the word just went right out of my mind uh, layered with <laughs> um, crafty foam tape oh my word I need coffee help me and on the cut on the cover I've also cut out this beautiful piano uh, keyboard so let's take a look at the inside of this and hopefully in the meantime I can drink some coffee. The first page is a little flip with a pocket. It flips open to reveal a map for your photos. But when you close it, I have uh, shown you in the directions on which uh, inserts I have for this particular pocket including again that violin. I really like to take an image from the cover and put it on the first page of the book. I just think it, I don't know, it just makes sense to me to do that. Of course you don't have to, but that's what I like to do. On the second page is another type of flip that's tied with a ribbon. I did um, dye my ribbon with um, ink, just um, brown ink, acrylic ink, and it flips open. This side flips open, and you have the piano, which makes sense with the binding on the cover with the piano keyboard. Tie that closed, and you're ready to go. Next page. Another flip. You know I like to do these. This one has a really pretty vintage looking button and every button in every kit will be different. So don't expect one to look like this, but you might get this one, but you might get another one that um, is equally pretty. This flips open to show a beautiful image of this lady playing the harp and of course inserts and Again, this is up to you, but I used a decorative corner punch for some of these. You don't have to, but if you have one and you'd like to use it, great. Again, all this is included in your kit. And we'll tie that up later. This, by the way, I just wanted to point this out. This is a little uh, image from the cover sheet of the paper pad that you're going to be getting. So I do use the cover and the background paper, uh, the last page of the Stamperia paper pad. So don't throw any of that away. I keep it all until I'm finished at the very end and then I know what to do with it. On this page as well, I've glued this envelope down on three sides only so you can use this as a side pocket for more photos if you wish. Next page. Another fold out. This time I used tabs 
to connect the pages. And I did use um, an embossing folder that I had. It's a music embossing folder. So if you want to do that with yours, great. If not, they can just be plain for your photo mats. And on the inside, I used a little torn extra piece for a pocket, a side pocket, and then ephemera pieces from your kit on the inside. Next page. This one is a double pocket. Take all these out so you can see, and I'll show you in a second. So I have, I love this paper with a keyboard. I have a pocket on the bottom. And all these will fit inside. So you have lots of room for photos on this. little journaling pages and then on this you can see I took another keyboard and made a pot pocket on the bottom of the page so you can use these little ones for journaling and then the larger pocket for um, photos next page another tie so we're going to untie this nice page or um, ephemera card for journaling or um, a photo. Open it up. There's that beautiful violin again on harp. And a nice big page that will hold a 5 by 7 photo. This next uh, little scenario, I've used a small craft envelope, again included in your kit. I didn't tuck anything in here for you because I thought you could use leftover paper to create a little journaling card, but you do have this glued in on two sides only so that it creates a little tuck behind for more photos or journaling, however you're going to use this. Next page, another tie. I'm like tie crazy in this one, right? But I love them. So we're going to unwrap the ribbon. And this opens up to reveal a file folder of sorts. So lots and lots of room here for photos. Lots of room. Tie it up and you're ready to go. Okay, this is a side pocket, but this particular paper looked like it had a torn edge. It didn't, but I fussy cut it along the torn edge look and then took a distressing tool and distressed the edges so it kind of looked like I tore it, but I didn't really. It's a pocket with ephemera. This does not come off. This is stuck on here. Of course, if you don't want to stick it on, that's fine. But I wanted to show you, going back to the cover for a second, these flowers are white in your kit. You can take these flowers and color them, of course, with inks. We all know we can do that. But I'm going to show you what I did with mine. I took chalk, and believe it or not, you can use chalk or you can use even eyeshadow if you want to. Take the color that you want, put a little bit on your brush, and then take your brush and starting from the inside out, you can color your flowers. See how vibrant they can get. So honestly, you can do this, you know, with any white flower. I like the inside nearest the center of the flower excuse my arm, to be darker than the outside. It's just a personal preference. But now I have a really pretty flower that's pre-colored for me. Color the other one. Just a little soft paintbrush, lifting up all these little guys, all these centers. Had a little more color, wasn't quite enough for me. Start in the center, work my way out. And there we go. 
and I have some color on my flowers that I didn't have before. Okay, super easy, right? Takes a few seconds. Here is another chipboard piece that will be in your packet that perfectly matches the small violin image. So all you need to do is cut out that small violin image and attach it to the chipboard piece that's in your kit. I added a brad so that my violin will move and act like a holder. So here's what happens. I take my cards out. I open this flap up. Now I have a side pocket here, so I can add anything I want in here. I'm going to close up the side pocket, add my ephemera, and then twist my violin around, and that acts as a closure from my pocket. So those are all pre-cut for you and in your kit. Okay, then we have a belly band page. Very simple. Let me grab one of these and just show you that you can put extra photos behind here. Again, I told you how much I love that keyboard. I have to use it as much as I can. And you have this strip already pre-cut for you. Uh, the craft card stock is pre-cut for you, I mean. And then this is another pocket. Okay, so we have a large pocket here that will be good for photos. And I love these little cards. These are already uh, not scored, but uh, set up in <clears throat> the paper as a small folder. And I think that's so cute. So all you have to do is cut around it, fold it in half. I love this phrase, Sounds of Silence. You know who I'm thinking of, that beautiful song. Um, and I use the cut edge again, or the torn edge, sorry, for a side pocket, so you can just slip that in and add your photos. The bouquet is another flip. So again, if you want photo, 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 or leave this blank, or put a 5x7 photo, or two 4x6s will fit on here, whatever you want. Then the last page, I've included a glassine bag. I love these brown colored glassine bags. Folded up the bottom of the bag to create a pocket, decorated it a little bit, and then added ephemera. Actually, this one is an envelope. Again, it comes in the paper pack. It's so cute. Added that envelope, added a tag, and then you have plenty of space. Look how this comes out for photos inside the bag. And the last page, now you can do this however you want. Um, I just put this Ex Libris that's in your paper pack, because I love that, on the back. You will have a sheet of music paper left over, and you can cover the whole back if you want. I like mine plain, it's just me, but of course you can do whatever you want. Now, the other thing I wanted to tell you, each page, including the cover and the back, is um, pre-painted. No, it's not. It's not pre-painted. Don't pay any attention to me. It's that coffee thing again. I'm sorry. You will have to dry brush the cover, uh, back cover, the front cover, and the inside pages. And uh, that's all explained in your kit. I use this beautiful color blue that I found with Prima. We could not include it in your kit because it's a huge, huge jar and you would be mad at me if this is the only project you used it for. But it matches perfectly with this Stamperia paper. And Button Form Club is going to have a few jars of it if you want to add that to the purchase of your kit. It's gorgeous. Now, the nice part about any um, manufacturer that does scrapbook paper, they usually work with a particular color scheme. And Stamperia uses this color a lot in their color schemes. So, again, if you purchase the additional uh, Prima uh, paint 
acrylic paint. You will be using these for, <coughs> pardon me, in future um, mini books with me and maybe with others. So um, just an FYI, if you want to get that, it's just a gorgeous color. So here we have it. That's the book. Hope you like it and hope to see you over at the Button Farm Club. Thank you.